As a psychologist, I'm often faced with many people with many complex stories. Some are from people I knew from childhood whose lives changed dramatically since I last saw them. Because after all, psychologists are normal too and have normal lives. But today, today I'll write about Robin. His is a special case. Someone having a hard time letting go of his ex-girlfriend. But what I found most interesting was the deeper side of his story. How things around him would trigger some memories and emotions that follow. Could this be psychological or something supernatural? To show people that there is a divine justice and give them one last chance of redemption. As a psychologist, I can't talk about such things. But his case left me thinking. I suppose when you think of something for so long, it comes true at the worst possible times. What does God gives you these things like a test? Is it to see what we would choose? My ex-girlfriend came back. The one you told me about. Yes. Her. Why when finally I have someone else and things are finally moving on? Now everything that I see and hear trigger those past memories of her. Robo, when the things you love the most become obstacles, that's when you know you're making the wrong choice. I can see how your feelings are confusing you. You need to clear your head and make the right choice. I don't know. Hey, hey. what's this? Got us some food. Ooh, I'm hungry. Huh? Right. Got us some food. Mm -hmm. I was looking out for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you doing? Just downloading music. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, right there. Oh, I like this song. Oh, baby. Can this be our song? Really? Yeah, I think it reminds us of how we are together. Oh, yeah. so sweet. Oh. <laughs> oh, baby. Don't worry. I'm about to get this new job in. I'll be able to afford that new car. Really? Yeah. Wow. I hope you heard that up. <laughs> He gave me straight from the head. I don't even know what to expect from him. What did you expect from her? Nothing. I wasn't expecting anything sexual from her. Or anything like that. Is that what you meant? Why can't things that happen to other people happen to me? What things? What people? Stories from people on TV. Their ex is coming back to them. And no one has ever come back to me. Robel, those are make-believe fantasies to make you feel how you feel. If she came back to you, would you really want that? Yeah, I guess. That would make me feel good. That would make me feel special. I would hold you up to that. I'm leaving on a trip. When will you be back? I don't know. I just need to get away from here. I guess you just wanted to get away from me. 
You have to let her go. You can't afford her. Or You have to let her go. Maybe she wanted to forget about you and didn't know how. What did you do to me? What are you talking about? I can't forget about you. Then one day she did. I saw pictures of her husband and her child online. No, <laughs> not for me, not for anyone. <laughs> You're the love of my life. I know it. It's funny to think how stuff are meant to be, even when the odds are against you. But when I saw those pictures, I knew it was over. She moved on, and so should I. I'm sure when the guys treat her bad, she thinks about you. See, those are just assumptions. Your comments are not real. Just like those TV shows. In reality, they're living out their lives with guys that satisfy them with money. going to make it. You left me for money. Do you know what that makes you? Love is not like a fairy tale. You don't meet someone and fall in love for the very first night. You don't go to bed dreaming. Because you don't know if the other person's gonna be feeling the same way you are. Love is like a show, a TV show. What is love? See, I was always the chaser. Just one person chased me. You don't celebrate Happy Valentine's Day? No. Personal reasons. 
Happy Valentine's Day. What's for lunch? Oh, just some sandwich my wife made. You want some? Love is someone who is proud of you without you even knowing it. Love is like a mirror of yourself by someone else, by your true love. You know what I think we should do? What? I think we should go get married in the church. yourself and vice versa. Robin, just remember, there's no right or wrong answer. But whatever you decide, just think of the outcome. Thank you, Dr. Rayner. I'm leaving now. Oh, by the way, you're really good. You know that tingly feeling that you get after seeing somebody after a long time ago? It's normal. It's nervousness when you haven't seen someone in a long time. Don't confuse it with happiness.
knocking at the door? No, honey, no one. Thank you.